Set tonight? Um, yeah. <laughs> I said I'll ever be, yes. <laughs> oh, I can't belong in this. Yeah. Feel free to sing him tonight. No, thanks. I'll have a okay, night off. I would. Okay. Is Adrian in there? No, I can't do this And here we find Mr. Walker making his parents proud. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully. in the bar.
dreams of the coffee as usual. Yeah. Hey, that's 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 I was just Admiring Tell us the story of your chess. How did you first come across chess? Um, it was back uh, 21 years ago now, I think, in 1991, right? Yeah, when the UK tour came to Edinburgh, and it was the first musical I ever ever went to see, at, and it was at the Playhouse in Edinburgh. And uh, I went without knowing really much about it, except for the I know so well, which is most people's sort of yeah, perception of it. Um, and I was just absolutely wowed with what they did. They had um, very little set, like ours, it was all done with props, <coughs> excuse me, and, um, and they had a, a, a hydraulic chessboard that was on a revolve as well, and the music and the, and the atmosphere was just brilliant, and I just fell in love with it then, and have loved it ever since. And um, those of us that know you well know you have quite a few different versions of chess. Would you like to tell everybody how many you have? Um, I have got uh, the original London soundtrack, the original Broadway soundtrack. Um, I have the latest uh, anniversary concert um, soundtrack. Uh, I also have a copy of the anniversary concert DVD. Uh, I have the Chess or Svenska, for those of you that aren't fluent in Swedish, that's Chess in Swedish, um, which was done a few years ago, and as of this morning I have a DVD of that same performance as well, so I now have a DVD in English and in Swedish. But do, do they differ greatly? The um, I think that the, some of the songs are used in different, uh, different areas, and I think um, that was, t I think Tim Rice once said there's about 32 different versions of the actual show. There was a catalogue of songs and they've changed it over the years and, and what was the original soundtrack um, so, uh, has been changed and uh, some people some people send one song and then the next production some people some someone else sends it. Someone else's story was originally a Florence song. And uh, really? no, it's a spare line, so. no, I'm, I'm really gutted that it's coming to an end. It's so it's been a fantastic week. I was very apprehensive towards the end and I was getting a bit stressed because I thought oh, Bangkok, they're not gonna do it, they're not gonna get it, but they have. Why would I do it? Dress rehearsal, we've been up there. Um, couldn't ask for any more. Principal, chorus, dancers, they're fab. I love you guys.
Kelly, ask Svetlana. What are your thoughts on the week? Have you enjoyed yourself? I've enjoyed myself. It's been brilliant and it's been exciting and it's been amazing to work with everybody. So, yay! <laughs> it's a great show. Grant and I have just been saying that um, your song was actually put into the show. Um, um, but it's a beautiful song. It was, it was originally sung by Florence. Were you aware of that? Grant told me that earlier on today, yes. actually. Yeah, I didn't know that until today. Yeah. It was from a Broadway show, but I didn't realise it was Florence's song originally. So, and I think, oh, please, it was swapped. I think you have one of the few songs where you're on the stage on your own. I know, amazing yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Would you like to tell everybody what you've also been doing while you've been rehearsing for chess? Oh gosh, planning a wedding, uh, which is two weeks today. Ah! Um, working full time, photographing weddings, babies, bumps, portraits, and renovating houses. Um, that's pretty much it, I think. Can you tell us any secrets about your wedding? No. <laughs> Business, Mr. Molokov, Michael, have you enjoyed the week? Oh, I enjoy every minute, every single minute. I, I don't say much, but I enjoy every single minute. It's only your second show with us as well. Yes, yes, I enjoy. I joined for our house, the last one, because uh, I'd moved to um, the area, and I, I was involved in musicals about ten years ago, but I hadn't been for a while, so I hunted around and unfortunately picked this to start. <laughs> well, we're very happy to do that, actually. Um, so, so how does it differ from our house? Oh my goodness, where do I start? Um, our house uh, was just completely different. Mm. This show, I'm, I'm really enjoy. I enjoy both of them equally, really. I'm, I just enjoy every minute of every yeah. show I do. No matter what part I'm in, I enjoy every minute. I've commented quite a few times that you, you're in the zone when, when uh, Kelly and Grant and Nettie are singing their songs. Oh. You love the songs, don't you? I think when I'm in the, if I'm in the audience or, or the side of the stage or watching a musical, that's Ooh. what makes it addictive for me. It, um, I just, it, it, it's the, whole, the combination of singing and dancing and acting is just, it gets hold of your heartstrings and just uh, doesn't let go, does it? Everybody's commented on your Russian accents. Oh, like, yes. Have you got a, a trick behind this? Is Not really. I, I can only think that it was my Polish father-in-law. So, really? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So I've, I guess I've listened to him for many years. He, he's passed away now, but I've listened to him for many years. Maybe it's rubbed off a bit. I, my my sons always tell a, a funny story when he when he used to live with us for a while and he got quite eccentric as he got old. And he answered the door one day in his underpants, long yes. old-fashioned underpants. Yeah. To one, one of my young sons at that time. Friends answered the door and was a, confronted with him standing there, and he said, "What is your Christian name?" And that was the first thing he said <laughs> <laughs> before he would ever let him in or do anything. To it. Anyway, so maybe that's maybe that's where the accent comes. Oh, you do it very well. <laughs> Thank you very much. Very best of luck for the final night. And you too. Thank you. Oh. And you too. In some versions, the Russian doesn't even win. Does no, in America, when they wrote, uh, they, when they took it to America, I think, uh, I think it was it was towards the end of the Cold War. But um, the Americans would never ever buy into the fact that a Russian would beat an American. So, at the end of the original American version, the American wins, and I believe Anatoly is packed off back to Russia in disgrace. Um, so yeah, the, the American wins again, Freddie Trumper uh, comes back and he plays uh, in both years and uh, is the eventual champion. The Soviet Union, he seems unable to... 